Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I am playing the King Crab because uh, some of you asked if you could do the Mauler build that I did lately with another Mac. And yes, you can do that. And you can do it even better than before. So this is a tribute to the Mauler. It's probably not the best or the greatest build in, uh, in the world, but uh, it, it is fun to play. It is really, really good. Now, we got two MRM30, we got two large pulse laser. That was what was in the Mauler before, but we also got an AMS and we got six machine guns. So what you want to do is you want to open up the components, just remove general armor with the splash damage, then go for pinpoint and then go for critical damage with the light machine guns. And it works perfectly. So I, I love this mech and uh, you will see why in the games that are coming. We are also running a relatively big engine, makes the mech re reasonably fast. 56 is good for an assault mech and uh, we have a good cooling with 16 double heat sinks here. So that's it's good. It's a very well-rounded build, I would say. I have a lot of fun with that, and you will see more of that in my streams, because, again, it's good. Now, the skill build looks like that. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of missile nodes unlocked and a lot of heat gen. So this is what you want in this build. I said that you have 16 heat sinks, and that is good, but uh, the more the better, because the two large pulse laser, if you fire them continuously, they will rack up a lot of heat uh, on top of the missiles here. And therefore, heat gen is what you want. As you can see, I'm not running the second missile rack here, just because it's not really needed. Uh, you have four tons of missile missiles for the MRM-60 uh, that you have, basically, and that one missile rack is... I think it's not even needed here, but I wanted to go down to the missile spread and uh, therefore you have to go down this path here or the, to the laser duration and uh, you know I wanted to have that. Anyway, we got uh, armor. Armor is important here because we have armor quirks and amplifying them with skill just makes sense. And I went for torso speed here uh, because the king crab is relatively slow in the torso movement and the main weapons are mounted on the torso. You don't have low arm actuators and therefore three points of torso speed down here and the rest is just filling nodes. This one is optional here. If you don't like that kinetic burst, you could go for something else. Maybe another point of cooldown if you want it. But um, that's basically up to you. Oh no, wait, this was this one here. Um, I have full cool run for the same reason um, as I mentioned before. You want heat management. I have 60% radar deprivation and a consumable slot that is filled with an artillery strike. I mainly use that to throw back the enemy to cover when I want to have a little bit of a... Uh, of a time to breathe when the enemy is pushing me. I just throw down that artillery strike. They see the red smoke, they have to disperse and that gives me some room to maneuver. And uh, therefore that. Yeah, that is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun. And uh, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexes. We are playing Domination. And I am um, a bit upset uh, about myself because I, I derped hard. So I recorded this whole daily dose. I had two games which were very good. I've got the intro going and then I wanted to edit all of that, cut it together. And I realized that I forgot to turn on the microphone. So I have to do it again. <laughs> Yay, isn't that great? Nah, anyway, it's, it's a good build. It's fun to play and I don't mind. This King Crab is just good and uh, you will see why so the games that i recorded before were extremely aggressive so my team just rolled over them and it was a lot of fun being in that fight um i really hope that we can get something like that as well here because um this is what the king crab shines at just throwing out a wall of missiles while running to the front line and then critting everything with the machine guns here now we can open the weapon doors the the arms here See that? A lot of barrels. Um, you can open them manually, but you don't have to. So they will open on an instant when you when you start firing. That's really cool. Pins, pins. But I, I just keep it like that because it's it's cool. It looks it looks great, and maybe it's going to intimidate our enemies here. Well, we will see. So Fox Seven is the place to be. This is where I want to go, and we got rotary fire. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, pin them down with the rotaries, please. I want to bring my king crab to the front. New target acquired. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. And uh, yeah, this is what we do. Great, heavy PPC roughneck. Oh, that's scary actually. Now pinpoint damage is uh, it's the bane of the king crab because it has very big side torsos and it is very easy to take down with that. Uh, hello roughneck. Okay, yeah, he's getting wrecked now. He he came to the wrong neighborhood, definitely. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, they are tearing him apart. Yeah, that was a mistake from him. Big, big mistake. Down he goes. Um. We got dominance in the circle now. Uh, we got a night shire with ultras. What are they doing? I can even do that now. Don't back up, please. You're running into me. Ah, hello, summoner. I wanna help. I wanna help. I'm not helping. Uh, I'm blocking. Um, okay, I'm gonna help on the left side. Is that okay? No, actually, no. I wanna go to the right side. 
Um, also, I want to drop... Ah, oh, the king crabs here! Sticking on each other. That's not good. Everybody wants to peek, but we don't have enough space to do so. Um, we drop an artillery strike on this structure, which is uh, going to nowhere. Interesting. Hello. I don't care, man. I don't care. We bring it on, man. Bring it on. You should be dead. Yep. Good. Now, this is what I was talking about. Um, we have missiles, and we have got a lot of them. And that makes it so that we can just throw them at our enemies, and they will, they will, especially assault max, the components will fly left and right here. All right, this is an issue. Uh, where's the machine gun coming from? Ooh, what? Oh, that's him. Well, we go for this. And yeah, again, just big wall of missiles and the king crab again. <laughs> we we have the same idea with our uh, with our positioning all the time. I'm pushing the top now. Follow the king crab, please. Let's go, boys. Go for India. Um, it's the wrong torso. Maybe we can get a good shot on the other one. Like this. Uh, my legs are open. And we need to come on, follow up, guys. Follow up. That's important here. That is so important. Good thing is that we pushed him out of the circle big time. Uh, but we still have light mechs around and I am so scared of them. I'm so, so scared. So we need to deal with the with the main force quickly so that we have enough friends on the battlefield when we are dealing with the light mechs later. And they are in my back now, right? Are they? Come on, XL, XL, XL. No, no XL, but I need to turn now. Where? Ah, there. Okay. Uh, my team died. For some reason, my team died. Um, but I think you get a good glimpse on what the king crab does, so I'm going to give you the game anyway. Uh, I don't know why we died here. We were in a good spot. What happened? What happened? Let's watch the game to the end. M maybe we can... No, we cannot. We've got a summoner with no weapons left. No. Okay, uh, AFK, uh, Delta 4, that's what we say, because we want to be polite, maybe some of them want to get a kill here, but I think they are go just going to cap the circle. Uh, but again, what happened here? I'm going to rewatch the game. Um, but yeah, again, we got this wall of missiles, I tried to, to talk about it uh, like three times now, but now actually we have the time to do so. So we got a wall of missiles, and when we throw them at assault max with big components, most of the missiles will land on the same component because it has a bigger... Uh, hit area, so a better target area that we can hit with all of the missiles at the same time. Which means that we deal massive damage to a single component with MRMs and the pulse lasers as our pinpoint option later is just finishing off the job as well as the machine guns. So six machine guns it is so scary as you could see. You can just open up the components and then you shred through that with the machine guns and the large pulse lasers. So that is the the cool thing about this build and um, yeah I think this King Crab build is going to see more gameplay in my streams because I like to play that so much it's so much fun to play guys and you should definitely build it if you haven't already but anyway we, we, are, we are not done yet guys we have a second game that I want to show you and this is going to come after the end screen so let's see what we did here and again I'm going to rewatch that because what happened what happened? Now we got two killing blows, we got four assists, three commas damage dealt, 1145 damage and seven components destroyed. Yeah, guys, that was the first round. Let's see how the next one will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Crimson Strait. And we are playing with Baron Azura again. I really hope that we are not getting into each other's way anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was bad. I blocked him, he blocked me. It was uh, just a big mess of crabbiness here. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, a Marauder to see. And what's our last assault mag? It is uh, Nanook. Look at that, a Nanook. I haven't seen the dwarves in a while. And now we got a hero here. So that's cool. We got some mid-range fire potential now, and um, I think that should be good on this mode um, and this map, because uh, there is a lot of peaking involved, though you can't really get a good angle for a push here. Um, not, not if you don't commit all of your mechs together, but um, I don't know where I wanted to go with that, because um, the best push is with all of your mechs together. So 
Whenever you're doing that, you, you have to have everybody in place and everybody needs to press the W button. And the most important thing about a push, by the way, is that you press that W button because a push involves movement. It's not only stepping two steps forward and then shooting. No, you, you need to be constantly moving because only then you can, um, you know, just shuffle around a little bit, um, get, get into the front, get to second line again and share armor with your friends. Okay, it's an assassin. It's too far away. Yeah, I wanted to do a little snapshot here. Um, because I have 400 meter range and I was uh, only seeing that it was something like 800 New target maybe uh, I was hoping for a little bit of uh, minimal damage didn't cost me anything but heat no? okay so yeah we just waited for a while and um, as soon as we got some more mechs in place I think we can slowly start moving mm, maybe maybe I can do wait I, can, I could possibly shoot my MRMs here. It's not 680 meters. I was hoping for 600 something. 680 is too much though. Maybe if I get a little bit closer. A little bit. 710 meter on him. Oh, give me an angle. Okay, that was okay. It was okay. It wasn't good, but it was okay. That was good. That is a trade that I'm willing to take. Enemy yep, yep, yep. We pinned down a direwolf, Foxtrot. He cannot move anywhere. Take him out. Oh, that was great. Sight also. Ah, crit. That's good. I'm going to push Alpha, the Marauder. Oh, wait. We are already fighting him. That announcement was basically pointless. Uh, Roughneck, could you please push forward? Please. Thank you. Uh, they are split. How many are in the tunnel? Mm, just a few. They are super split, guys. Extremely split. We should take the kills on Fox 5. Okay, there goes the Dire Wolf. Um, no, wait. The Marauder is probably... No. Yes, no. Yeah, he's the only one. Uh, take that back. Um, I'm going to the tunnel now. It's only a Marauder on, in Echo 6, I guess. Yeah, I need to reinforce here. We need to reinforce in the side entrance of the tunnel. Uh, let's hope it's not too late. Uh, the Cyclops is getting pushed back, so that's good for me. I can help here. I can definitely help here. So only a matter of time until he comes back and he won't see it coming. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, we got commandos running around. Harassing him big time there. Hello. Okay, now we do this. As stated before. Great. It's two and two. Um, three and two now. I wonder where the rest of the enemy team is. I thought there were more enemies here. Sorry, man. I want to help you. Let me push out, please. Let's get the guys on the right side of the tunnel entrance. I'm here with my King Crab. Please follow up. Okay. That's MRM. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Ah, uh, come on! <sighs> Crap. <laughs> the uh, acceleration is not the best here. Let's see if we can get the Hunchback. The Hunchback is probably my priority here. Let's get him. Yeah, he's crit. MRM's down. Let's turn around. Or let's go for the other one. Which is um, this guy. Which is dead. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go for him then. <laughs> Just running through him like that. Uh, five and four, it's not decided yet. Okay, um, how do we do that? How do we do that? They still have a lot of mechs and they are pushing into our Marauder to see a lot. Wow, this is a super split game. But we are making some progress here. So I think the shortest way to the enemy is the tunnel. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely going there. Absolutely going to the tunnel. That might be a mistake because then I'm bound to the lower ground and if they are on top They can probably shoot from the top. I'm coming to help you uh, King crap in the tunnel. I'm pushing forward. I still have armor. Please go with me. I'll tank you kill. Okay Yeah, let's see what we can do Yeah, I'm, I was out of the fight for a very long time here. Oh, it's an annihilator. How damaged is he? Not at all. Okay, we need to take out his side torso quickly and then, or at least open it and then crit it out. This is an issue up there, but I want to help out with the Annihilator, which is down. It should be. Oh no, it's not. Now he is. Great. I'm just rattling around the battlefield here. Uh, that's the drawback of the King Crab. It's, uh, it's an assault mech, it's slow, it is... Uh, if you are not getting uh, pushed to the front by your team, you struggle. You struggle getting into position. Ah, crap. Hello. Now we got him. Machine guns to the side. Destroy. 
Was that XL? Or was that light? That had to be an XL engine, right? Okay, interesting. Interesting. Now, we only had one enemy left, which is... Ah, uh, an AFK. Oh, man, that's, that's, that's bad to hear. I wanted to have um, a fair fight here. But did you see that? The dynamics of this game, they were completely messed up. This is not what I had in ages. That, that, that basically felt like, like the good old beta days, where everybody was just finding, finding a, a position for himself, and everybody was taking fights one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, -two, and, and not the big murder ball with big alpha strikes. It's just a, a lengthy game that feels like Mech Warrior. Uh, so I should probably go to golf. Yeah, it doesn't matter here. We have 10, 10 seconds on the timer. It's okay. So yeah, th that was interesting. That was a completely different experience here. And um, it's a little bit of a shame that I'm running an assault mech in this game. I wonder how it would have felt if I'd run a uh, heavy mech, for example. Just being a bit more mobile, taking more encounters. But it was a good game, everybody. So let's have a look at the end score. And then that's it for today. Come on, we got 732, we got two kills, we got one kill was damage dealt, six components destroyed. And that is your King Crab build for today. And this is the King Crab with the medium range missiles and the large pulse laser, the machine guns and that AMS. And I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.